Hello everyone, this is an example of our finished product. We will go over this a little bit so we can kind of see what else needs to be done for today on our asynchronous day. Uh, this is a sample taken from 8th period. What we did was we added more flowers in the empty areas. If you see the areas that are blank, uh, your goal is to go in there with some extra flowers. It can be a repetition at this time. For example, um, the blue flowers, the light blue flowers, the aqua flowers can be repeated elsewhere. The reds were repeated here in the background. Not all of them need to be completely visible. We're just using them as a way to fill in. And then, of course, the next step would be to work with uh, your outlines. This one is not a finished piece. This section here, if you notice, one, two, three, four of the flowers are beginning to have an outline. And it's a big difference from the ones on this side. Okay, these here, these three do not have an outline. So you'll notice a difference as you go over your. Um, your design and that's what I'll be doing as a quick sample we will not do the entire lesson but just a very quick example um, if you do not have a pen you may use a sharpie or you may use a dark pencil okay and then of course later we'll go in here with some color or we can easily go in there with black and then just keep adding the detail okay so anything that you have if you want to go ahead and outline also do a texture within the center so that it can stand out like that and then that'll start to enhance your picture and then that'll be the final stage on this assignment which will be to outline so just make sure you take your time on it don't do it quickly because then it kind of ruins the whole concept of well we took our time and then it's gonna it's gonna be able to be noticeable so take your time on the outline be very careful with it. Put some good music on while you continue with it. And as best you can, outline your work. Okay? And then the inking part will be the last part. You do not have to have ink. You may use a dark pencil. You may use a Sharpie. But you'll notice that when you add the inking on the design, you'll see a difference in the, the boldness. And then, of course, the... Um, contrast which means it makes it stand out more so as you cover any pencil line once again it can be with a sharpie it can be with a colored pencil it can be uh, using stippling it adds more to your work then you'll see a difference in texture and then in your flower becoming more vibrant not so much because you colored it in but because you outlined it it has a sense of um, vibrancy to to come out more okay so we're we're basically putting the black against the color and then that's what helps your design okay like I said I'm not gonna finish the entire thing this is just a quick sample of how to continue with that part okay and then let me just finish this um, purple one so we can at least see a sample of that I'll just flip it over And so that'll be an example of that area. Let me zoom out so you can see that. Okay. This will be an example of that area where we have the outline happening on the flower. These three don't have that outline yet, but this is just a quick example of how to continue. Um, make sure you go in there and then really make your flower stand out. I'm going to do another bold line of black coming out from here and then um, we should have that stand out a little bit more than what we normally have set up already. So just a little example of what to do at the end. Keep going with your flower uh, design. Give it your best and of course uh, make sure we turn it in so that I can count it um, as soon as possible for your progress reports of course and the sooner you turn it in the better. Okay. So make sure that your work is turned in we, uh, if you have not done the progress of, of this picture, turn it in so we can see that. Okay, So then we'll proceed with a black or a dark color as needed. Okay, So that's that example. We also have the alien drawing, which I have pictured on the Google Classroom. And then the one we did on Monday was our um, elf illustration. 
which you can uh, turn in and then if possible, uh, if need be, we can count it as a double grade based on the two subjects that we had worked on. Okay, Make sure you turn that in, get that in there as best you can, work on that, uh, and then get that to me either Remind or Google Classroom preferably, but uh, make sure it's done quickly so we can get that done uh, before you leave at the end of this day. All right. So that is all we have for now. Make sure you have your um, alien drawing, the floral drawing, and then the third grade that I put in there was a credit for Ms. Salinas' participation in the classroom. And then the fourth grade is going to be the elf. And then on there you'll see that it says extra credit. If need be, you can also change that um, assignment and then submit anything that's extra credit. Um, I'll understand on this end that it will be going in that grade. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for a great week. We wish you the best. Have a good asynchronous day, and submit your work as soon as possible. Thank you, and have a good Friday.